Let's go through the pros and cons of this locking key safe over this locking key safe and why this one trumps it every time. There's plenty of these all over the country. I mean, if I, judging from where they come from, China, there's probably plenty of these all over the world. So something like this really serves a purpose, don't get me wrong. Um, if you've lost your key and you come home, you've got a spare in here. If you want to let somebody into your house, a workman or somebody like that, and you're not at home, give them the cord and they can get the key. You can change the cord as often as you want, so you can change it just for a, a one use, as I say, if you've got somebody coming around and you don't want to have the uh, cord again. But the challenge for me with this is, although it's safe and secure, there's five holes in the back there. Uh, I've had to attach it to this rather than just leaving it under a stone or something. Um, and it, it, it corrodes inside and the mechanism for the combination lock, it needs to be oiled on a regular basis with something like WD-40. So, serves a purpose, but the push button combination lock key safe that I've got now, it ticks every box for me, for what I want it for anyway. And this is it basically out of the box. So I've reset everything so I can show you how to do it. And all you do, open the front up. There's, there's quite a bit of weight to this. It's just under three quarters of a kilogram. It feels robust. And all you need to do to open it up to start off with is turn that, open it up. You can see inside there, there's quite a bit of space. And I'll show you the size of key that's going in it in a moment. But that is what you use to set your combination up. And you've got up to 12 digits that you can have in there. Before we set a combination, I'm just going to take the shackle off, which is nice and easy. Again, just open it up. And inside, you'll see there are two, let's get the light proper. There are two lugs here and all you do, just press them both in. Do it with the other hand. Press them both in there and the shackle just comes off. And then when you close it, you've got just a normal box there. But let's do the combination. And this combination will just do all the corners. So one, three, seven and nine. If we turn it this way, each one of these is numbered. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You've got zero there, you've got an asterisk, and you've got a hashtag. So each one of these has got an arrow in it, it's pointing down. And that means that each one of these currently is inactive. So let's do the one, three, seven, and nine. So you get the screwdriver and turn it so the arrow is up. I think we might have to uh, just lock it first. So turn it so that the arrow's up. And it's that easy. One, three, seven and nine. So we've got the arrow up on those four. Make sure that's up. Now, when I turn that, it's locked. So I need to put that cord in. One, let's cancel it first. One, three, seven, nine, and it opens. Simple as that. Close it again, lock it. Now, you can't open it, so you've got to put it in again. One, three, seven, nine, and uh, presto, it unlocks. Um, I'll lock it again there. The only thing about this is it's not one, three, seven, nine. It's actually any combination of that. So nine, one, three, seven, and it unlocks. Seven, nine, three, one, and it unlocks. So it's not so much about a combination. It's about a set of numbers in any order. So if you did use the 12 digit combination, you could basically press any of these in any order and it would open up. Let's just try putting five numbers in though. Nine, seven, one, three, five, and it won't work. Cancel it, three, one, seven, nine, and it works. And that's how easy it is to set the combination on there. So all you need is a screwdriver and you're away. As for what you can store in it, well, the inside is, there's a lip here and a lip here, so it's actually bigger than it looks. So the dimensions are about three inches by uh, three and three quarter inches. And these that I'm going to be putting in are just over three and a half inches long. I need to store two in there. They pop in, perfect. And as you can see, there's also a lug at the top there 
so you can get your key just pop it on and it'll hang nicely in the box not contacting the bottom or anything and to keep it waterproof so that i don't have to screw it to a surface flip the front down open it up you can take the shackle off pop the shackle through something and then click it into place lock it back up that's not going anywhere and unless you can get into here by using the combination to open it up there's no way that you can get this off there the only way to do that is to be able to get inside pull it off and that's it so you can either have the box like that inside somewhere you can screw it that's not a problem you'll have to go through the back there's four places where you can screw it or you can have the shackle on just like that you can move it around and put it in a temporary position again pop that over in place lock it up and it's secure and this is the primary reason why i've purchased a lock safe with a removable shackle this isn't something that i want to screw to the wall so that it's there forever all i need all i'm required to have is a, a lockable safe it doesn't even need to be in a lockable safe i could just hide the keys but i've chosen a lockable safe and i'm going to attach it to some furniture in the room so literally that's it now and that's locked the only way that i can get in there now to get the keys is to put the combination in and obviously this isn't the combination that i'm going to be using going forward but they're the keys ready to use so lots of reasons for me to get this one uh predominantly it was for the removable shackle i didn't want to fix it to a, a surface i didn't want to go into the back of it i just want to hang it from something so it's relatively secure the security comes in the fact that it's a locked box so even if somebody was to take this they still can't get the keys there and then any um any safe that you have it's only a temporary hold up that you're giving to somebody and that's what i need or in this case i don't want anybody else getting their hands on the keys when i'm not in the house so the other thing is the ease of use having a push button combination is so much easier than a cylinder combination if it's dark or low light to use a cylinder combination is almost impossible with this you can feel around if you know that you've got one three seven nine you can easily do that without a light even this one i've only seen the one like this i'm presuming that there's more out there that are sold under other names but i've only seen this one at 35 pounds i think it's worth every penny for what it gives me anyway uh, if you want one i'll put the link down below uh, I'll put the link for the other one on there as well. But as I said, £35, worth every penny to me.